these systems that we'll establish will interconnect together across a platform that Microsoft is propounding called a meta-identity system. Okay? So I'll save you the techie details on it. You'll be hearing more and more about it. InfoCard is Microsoft's identity system. The early one was called Passport. Now it's called InfoCard. It will slide in as a card into this back plane called the meta-identity system. But so will Yahoo's ID system, Google's, Apple's. So will Skip ID, Open ID, Federated, the Liberty Alliance. All these different ID systems will go into this back plane. What we're going to have is the notion that end users control their data. End users control their attention. End users control their personas. And that's a radical notion because right now I'm going to bet that all of you think that if you set up a website and you've got people to register at your website, that you somehow own something. You own doodly squat. Right? Judy gave a great lie. Let me quote it. One click away from never using you again. That's brilliant. That's exactly the reality. That's the lesson we have to learn from one woman. I mean, the VCs used to do an evaluation of the company based upon how many names you had on your member list. They used to give you money based upon acquiring customers, thinking that if that person went in and registered as a citizen, that that meant something, that they actually were going to come back and be loyal. What we learned was that it's compelling experience. It's value added. It's actual you know, stickiness is made up of value. Yahoo delivered value. Right? The early MSN, not to be too rude, the early MSN didn't really deliver that much value, so it didn't, wasn't that sticky. Right? Surprise, surprise. That shouldn't have surprised anybody. All right, so here it is, typical what's going on.